Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Molly Malone. In Dublin's fair city, where the girls are so pretty, I first laid my eyes on sweet Molly Malone. She pushed a wheelbarrow through the streets broad and narrow, singing cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh. All you need. You need a C chord. Fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret. That's my C chord. I'm going to lead these two fingers down and tuck this guy underneath for my A minor. That's fifth string open, fourth string, third string, second fret, second string, first fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string. I need a D minor, first string, first fret, third string, second fret. 2nd string, 3rd fret, definitely going to get rid of the 6th string with my thumb on that one. does not work. That's my D minor, then a G7. You can leave your 1st finger down where it is, 1st string, 1st fret, and take this guy, 5th string, 2nd, 6th string, 3rd. That's my G7 chord, and I just need one more chord. My D7 chord only comes in once during the verse. 2nd uh, string, 1st fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret, First string, second fret. I'm gonna get rid of the sixth string on that one, definitely. Okay, with my thumb. So that's all you really need. It's in three, four time. You know, it's an old Irish song, and um, always liked it. Anyway, uh, it's in three, four time. So what I'm gonna do for a strum, and I'll show you how to finger pick it too, in a little while. So I'm just gonna go down, down, up, down, up for my strum for each chord. So uh, there's one bar that is a little. Uh, a little different, but so you got down, down, up, down, up on the C. You go right to the A minor, same thing. Down, down, up, down, D minor, same thing. G7, back to C, to an A minor, to a D7, to a G. C to A minor, then the D minor to the G7, singing C chord to an A minor. And here's where we have a problem. We got the D minor, we're just gonna go down, down, up, and then hit the G7 once down, and then C. And that's your verse. Okay, so let's go over that again. C to A minor, D minor to G7, C to an A minor, D7 to a G7, C to A minor to D minor to G7. Sing a C chord, stay minor, D minor, G7, C. Okay, so that's your verse. It happens, it just keeps going around like that. Then they go right into the chorus, okay? And the chorus is uh, basically the last two lines of the verse. So it's like, uh, alive, alive, oh. So that's C to D, A minor, D minor to G7. Sorry, D minor, G7, C. So sorry about that. So chorus is alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, singing cockles and bosses, alive, alive, oh. So that's C to A minor, D minor to G7, C to A minor, and then D minor, G7, C. And you got that same little measure the D minors down, down, up, G7 once, C. Could end like that, but you're going to keep going probably most of the time. Now on that last C chord, in between, um, you know, the, the, the stanzas or whatever, you might want to take some time, take a breath. So that you might, if you're performing it, you know, you might stay on that C chord for a bit before you jump into another verse. Because it goes verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then at the end, you repeat that chorus as many times as you want, okay? And hopefully that, uh, that clears it up. Um, what you can do is you can finger pick it, too. It's a nice finger pick. Uh, you can do any number of things. Um, what you really, what, what I, one of the easiest things to do is I'm going to grab each chord, and, you know, I'll change my bass note with my thumb, but it pretty much stays in consistent except for that one little measure. Um, so you got your C. I'm going to go... Uh, fifth string with my thumb, 
and then my other fingers are going to be on the third string, second string, and first string. So I'm going to use my first, second, and third uh, on those strings, and I'm just going to go uh, like five, three, two, one, two, three, but fast though. So. Just like that. So five, three, two, one, two, three. I can play it fast, I can say it. A minor, D minor to G7. C chord A minor, D7 to a G7. C A minor, D minor to G7, and then a C chord to an A minor, D minor, G7, C. Okay, so something like that. So on the C chord, I'm just doing 5, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. A minor, same thing. When I go to the D minor, I'm going to use the 4th string for my thumb. The G7, I'm going to use a 6th string, but everybody else is consistent. Then the C, the same thing, and then the A minor, same thing. Then when I get to the D7, I'm going to use the 4th string, because that's a D. I'm going to use that, and then the G7, 6th string again, okay? And so I just kind of do that for the, for the whole song. The one measure that's a problem, I did D minor like this. I did 4, 3, 2, 1. And then on the on the G7, I just hit six. You could go six and then two and three together, or just three, or just two, anything like that. So it sounds like that sounds pretty. So I did six, two, right to the C chord. And that's what you could do for a finger picking pattern for the whole song if you'd like. I'm sure you can figure it out. Alright, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Play more guitar.